there, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie, otherwise known as the Vintage Academic. I'm a rising senior at UC Berkeley studying anthropology and archaeology. That's my cat, my other cat. I make fun vlogs and informational videos about the transfer process, community college life as a transfer student, and sometimes vintage and archaeology content to mix things up a bit. If that all sounds good to you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and today, my cat won't stop yelling, I have to move back to Berkeley. If you haven't been watching my vlogs, Lillian, I swear to God. If you have been watching my vlogs, then you would know that I have been in the middle of nowhere, Northeastern California, doing cultural resources management archaeology for the federal government. That job ended at the end of July. It is currently August 13th. Yes, it's, no, 14th. It's currently August 14th, and when I got back from doing that job, I then immediately went to the East Coast. I was going to my now fiance's uh, family vacation, and I was also supposed to be going to Pennsylvania and Connecticut to visit with Kaylin and Danielle, but due to the rising cases of COVID and the Delta variant, we decided to cancel the trip, so I came home. I've been home for about a week now, and today I get to move back to Berkeley because school starts soon. <laughs> that was a lot of words. All at once. I have to be somewhere in about two hours. James and I are going to go see a comedy show called Doug Loves Movies and within those two hours I have to change, get dressed for the show, and then I have to pack all of my stuff and while James cleans the kitchen I have to put all my stuff in his car because we're leaving for Berkeley like I've said a million times now. Let me show you what the situation at hand is because it's a little overwhelming and uh, my ADHD has been making it very difficult to pull myself away from my jigsaw puzzle which is now become one of my favorite pastimes. So, let me show you what we're working with. So this mess, which you can't see everything of because the table's in the way, there are two suitcases, my field pack, and then two grocery bags. Two grocery bags worth of stuff here that needs to go back to Berkeley. <laughs> There's already so much stuff in Berkeley that I have to put away, but essentially this is like half my wardrobe because when I was supposed to be going to Connecticut, I brought home a bunch of stuff so I could have like a selection of things to take with me, but now it's here at my mom's house when it belongs at my apartment in the Bay. So now I get to pack all of it again. So let's put you guys down here while I get to work. <laughs> that this guy was on the bookshelves back there. He, it is my earbud, my, my earworm, the moth that was stuck in my ear during work. So he's gonna go, he's gonna go right in there. I'm gonna take him back to Berkeley with me. I am done packing, James is home. He printed our name tags for Doug Loves Movies. Um, this is a thing that the audience does where they find like a movie poster and replace some part of the title with their name. So we have Planes, James, and Automobiles, and we have Katie Says Goodbye, which is actually the title of the movie, but I've never seen it. So that's what we've got going on. I'm gonna slap on some makeup and then we're gonna go to the show soon. We're back, but I have all of the stuff from my summer job still just laying around on the ground that needs to be unpacked, so that's fun. We have the mess that I left on my desk, the extra work equipment that we didn't use, and then of course the mess in the kitchen of all the food that I had to unpack but didn't put away. Yeah! 
I know I haven't vlogged very much today, but I'm gonna cut it here because it's getting late and I'm tired. And I have a relatively busy day tomorrow unpacking and doing some stuff for Accepted Consulting. So I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to another day. It is Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. I got up early because I was going to go to the Academics in Conversation with Accepted Consulting. Academics in Conversation is a new thing that we offer where Caitlin, Danielle, and I, we get together and we chat about various topics concerning academia. But we moved the Academics in Conversation to Wednesday because Danielle's not feeling well, unfortunately. Um, so now instead, I am uploading some Instagram stories to the Accepted Consulting Instagram. James is off getting us some coffee and moving the car. And then I'm going to start unpacking and cleaning up this mess. I have essentially mm, four suitcases and a couple bags worth of stuff to unpack because I kind of took my entire life with me to my summer job. Um, I did come to Berkeley one weekend and kind of start unpacking some things because I had to like take things to my mom's house. There's some stuff that belongs in her garage, etc., etc. But now I have to actually deal with the stuff that belongs here. I'm also trying to film a TikTok about it, about like moving back to school, but I'm also like really bad at juggling both the camera and TikTok because I'm forgetful, you know, ADHD, working memory, all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uploading these Instagram stories. If you don't follow Accepted Consulting on Instagram, you should. The Instagram is where we post a lot of updates about the website and our availability and our services and that kind of stuff. And right now I'm doing like a fun Instagram stories where it's like a little quiz to get to know our consultants better. So this is where I'm at right now and I still have things in the car that I need to get out but uh, for, for the TikTok I dumped out all of my suitcases into the middle of the floor and now I have to deal with all of these clothes. And also that bag is full of the clothes that are covered in diesel gas and smell like smoke still so not sure what I'm doing about that yet. You gonna come help me unpack the car? Meh. Come on. Meh. Come on. That ain't my stuff. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No, I don't need to. I put up your mess with your mess for like a week. Come on. You owe Come me. Come on. You? I am I am not helping you clean my car after you made it dirty. Come on, I need help. No, you <laughs> don't. You're just Give me your you, hand. You got it all in there just fine. You can get it out. Give me your hand. No. Come on. No. Come on. I've already, I, Come on. I proposed. I don't have to like do any more things like this anymore to try oh. and make you love me. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Go for it. Let's see. I can't see myself right now. Hello. A couple of things have happened. First of all, I forgot that I put my camera right there. Um, I've been looking for it for a while now. <laughs> it blended into the navy bed sheets and also um, object impermanence because of ADHD. If I talk about ADHD a lot in this vlog, I'm sorry. I'm still learning about it. But the next thing I was going to say was I am looking at all of the things that I have to do and thinking about how I have to do them and how to get them done. Um, and if you don't know anything about ADHD, it severely impacts executive functioning skills. So things like priori prioritization skills, organization, task initiation, working memory, so on and so forth. So right now, um, my ADHD brains are, are very bad at um, taking a task and breaking it down and then prioritizing those tasks into the things that are like the most important need to get done first. Because I'm looking at all of this and my brain says, do it all right now, like it all needs to be done. 
you can't start in one area, you just have to do it all right now. So because it's impossible to do it all right now because it's a task that needs to be broken down into steps, I've been laying on that there couch making TikToks instead. Found my camera, James is gonna get out of the shower in a minute and I'm going to use him to body double to try and get some of this work done because uh, I haven't gotten any of it done. Yeah. 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 Okay, what are we doing? What's the plan? I need help here. I guess get started on it? I don't know how. <laughs> That's the problem. made quite significant progress on cleaning up the house and putting my clothes away, but it is time to get lunch. So we're taking a break, moving the car, and going downtown. I guess I wouldn't call Telegraph Avenue downtown, but we're gonna go get lunch is what I mean. <laughs> My two favorite things, I got Poke Parlor, courtesy of James. I got their veggie bowl this time because the crispy miso chicken takes like 15 minutes to cook. And I got a puzzle from the game store, again courtesy of James. <laughs> I've been really into puzzles lately, which I'm sure you saw at the beginning of this vlog. I had to leave that puzzle at my mom's house, so I got a brand new sparkly one for this for the apartment. Um, but something I wanted to talk about real quick before I eat my lunch is uh, something unexpected. The uh, sudden and fairly intense social anxiety that I was experiencing while we were walking up and down Telegraph. Students are starting to move back to Berkeley, obviously, because we're gonna be in person starting the second week of school. I have gotten very comfortable to Berkeley being relatively empty, relatively free of people. <laughs> and having my pick of the stores and the restaurants and whatnot and i think just now i am realizing what it's going to be like to be back in person amongst 30,000 other undergraduate students and also the fact that i am very much feeling my age at the moment because we're walking around and there's all these like fresh faced teenagers like 18 year olds i'm sure they like freshmen or something you know all these people who are much younger than i am and uh it brings up a story that i have where I was walking Dougie at the park near my house um, during last semester and he ran up to a group of people and I started chatting with them because they wanted to hang out with him and play with him and they're like, oh, so are you, uh, are, are you uh, like an, an alumni or, or a grad student? And I was like, I'm a junior, like, huh, non-traditional transfer student over here. So yeah, I'm just thinking about that and the fact that I'm going to be going back to school with a bunch of teenagers when I am a 26-year-old woman. <laughs> 
with a fiance and a career. <laughs> so I know a lot of people in the anthro department are transfers and a lot of them are non-traditional transfers too. So like on the older side, and or like student parents and that kind of stuff so I don't feel too bad about it in terms of like my department but it can still be a very overwhelming feeling going back to like the university as a whole and also just the fact that this is going to be the first time that I'll be doing in-person classes at Berkeley so it's all kind of overwhelming and all kind of hitting me all at once but I'm gonna stop talking because it's stressing me out thinking about it and I want to eat my food so peace out <laughs> warmed up hi hello good morning it is Monday August 16th ah, I didn't vlog last night I got way too into my new puzzle and just hanging out with James we decided to watch some Star Wars and eat pizza so that's what we did it was a very lovely night um, but now it is it is 10 15 in the morning I have kind of a full schedule today I wrote everything I, I wanted to get done before we leave because I Unfortunately, we have to go back to Davis. I forgot some things, um, but what was I saying? Um, wow, my brain just totally blanked out. What was I talking about? Your schedule, what you were doing for the day. As part of returning to campus, every student has to get a COVID test through the University Health Services. So later tonight, at a, like I think my appointment's at like 5 or 5.30, I'm going to go to campus to do that. I would also like to walk around campus and kind of gauge how long it's going to take me to get from one classroom to another because unfortunately the way my schedule worked out, I have one class that ends at 11 and the next class starts at 11 and then another class that ends at 5 and then the next class starts at 5. Of course we have what's called Berkeley time where everything starts 10 minutes after the hour. So technically lecture isn't supposed to start until 5.10 or 11.10. Um, but the walk on Google Maps says it'll take about 10 minutes and I don't want to be late every single day to my classes. So I'm going to go do that walk and see how long it actually takes and hopefully it goes okay and when we're actually doing in-person classes it won't be too much for me to handle because I really don't want to drop that class. I'm taking a journalism class because I want to minor in journalism in the digital age. And while I already kind of like do the whole disseminating of information on the internet, I kind of wanted to get like a minor in it and like take some actual classes on it and improve my skills. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing some accepted work. We all have scheduled times to do like an Instagram stories takeover on the Accepted Consulting Instagram, and then I'm also going to start sending out some emails. I'm also going to attempt to film a YouTube video and some TikToks and finish cleaning my apartment if I have time, but if I'm going to do all of that, I gotta stop talking to the camera. So I'm gonna go do this work. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. distracted and I'm trying I'm gonna put it away because I don't want to bother my neighbors because nobody likes to listen to somebody playing the flute because the flute can be very high-pitched um, but here is one silly way that ADHD affects your everyday life I was putting away important papers 
and memorabilia and stuff like that into my trunk, which is essentially like my storage unit. Uh, and I saw my flute and my brain goes, hmm, scrap responsibilities and play your flute. I was last chair for seven years, so I, I am a very mediocre player and I haven't played since I graduated high school in 2013, but I'm impressed with myself that I can still play it. Okay, I have to put this away and I have to get back to work because I have a busy day and I am just distracting myself. And for any of you people out there who play instruments, don't come for me. I'm not cleaning it before I put it away. I, I played it for like all of five minutes, so it's fine. Storage tip idea, if you're living in a dorm or a studio apartment for college, get yourself one of these trunks that can serve as a coffee table as well as a storage unit. Uh -huh. Mine is a really cool antique that I got at a, a flea market kind of thing, kind of deal in my hometown. Oh. Somebody named W.H. Carter at the American Embassy took this to Indonesia, which I thought was very cool and it has like, it has like the shipment label and everything, as well as some tape on here that says Indonesia. So, so that's, a, that's a cool thing. Um, yeah, I have a lot of antiques in my apartment because I've been collecting them for a long time, but. Okay, I need to get back to work. I finished my work for Accepted and now I am going to finish cleaning up the apartment and then I'm gonna do some decorating because I have some things that I thought that I'd like to hang up on the walls. So let's do that. So we're gonna go downtown and get lunch and do downtown things. Um, but let me give you an update on how the apartment's looking. Um, closet's a bit rough at the moment, but I'm deciding to deal with that at a later time. But the main part of the apartment looks pretty dang good. I added some of the things that I picked up in Susanville for my summer job. I shook out the carpet, mopped the floors, and then in here, if you ignore the laundry, my desk has been cleaned off. And then James ever so kindly cleaned the kitchen for me. Thank you. And then I have some more like organization things to take care of, but I figure that I don't have to do that right now. I can do it as over the next like week and a half before school starts. So that's that. We're gonna go get lunch and I'll talk to you guys soon. in the afternoon, evening. It's five o'clock in the evening. I just finished filming three YouTube videos. I am out of breath, my throat is sore, and I have not vlogged for the last couple of hours because I've been doing this. If you're wondering why I'm on the floor right now uh, to film a YouTube video, then uh, go watch the YouTube video. Um, I was filming my fears and goals for my senior year at UC Berkeley as a transfer student because I did the same thing for starting at UC Berkeley, but my fears and goals are vastly different as a senior going to be in person for the first time. So if you're interested in hearing about that, go give it a watch. I'll leave the link in the description if it's live. If not, then go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for that video. But right now I have about 30 minutes before I have to go get a COVID test. Everybody on campus or all the students who are returning to campus 
are required to both be vaccinated and get a negative COVID test before school starts, which honestly, I don't understand why they're doing that because they're like, get a, neg get a COVID test and it's good for 180 days, but it's like, well, what if I get exposed to COVID? between when I got that COVID test and the expiration date of that COVID test. Anyways, point remains, I have to go get a COVID test through the University Health Services, and then it's gonna be a wrap on the day because I have to go back to Davis. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be here permanently, but I do actually have to go back to Davis and take care of a couple of things before I can be back here fully present to 100%. I'm gonna go get ready for that and start walking to campus, and then, and so I will see you guys later.